uh, Roland Lufen. I work as a clinical engineer at the medical technology department uh, at the Radboud University Medical Center in Nijmegen, the Netherlands. And, and I'm going to present to you the project on the right track, uh, which is the implementation of a real-time uh, location system for the management of medical technology. I did this together with a project team um, as, as shown uh, below. Um, the Radboud University Medical Center is a large academic uh, hospital in the Netherlands, uh, which consists of a campus of, of tens, uh, tens of buildings and, and more than 300 floors, and in total, more than 400,000 square meters of surface area. And uh, in this hospital, there are a lot of uh, mobile assets uh, and also a lot of medical devices moving throughout uh, the hospital. And you can imagine that the, the care professional, but also the, the, the clinical engineer or service engineers and other uh, service personnel uh, has a hard time uh, finding stuff. Uh, so the problem is uh, that we have limited insight in the location and movement of mobile objects uh, within the hospital. And, and this causes a lot of time that is being lost in, in searching for uh, mobile assets uh, or keeping track of them uh, by administration. And this leads to frustration uh, with the employees uh, and crew uh, when they have to look for uh, equipment, especially medical technology equipment, um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So in the end, we, we, we are not uh, as efficiently using and managing medical technology as we would like to have. And, um, that's why we were looking, uh, we are looking, we looked into uh, the implementation of a real time location system. So a track and trace uh, platform. And it consists of tags which are uh, attached to medical devices or other mobile assets. They communicate with the network and thereby you can uh, calculate the location uh, within a building or within the hospital and saving this data and combining this data with other data sources like an asset management system um, or uh, an electronic health record, you have a, a tool to uh, locate equipment based on the needs uh, of processes and uh, procedures. And our goal was to use track and trace for uh, uh, for a process of management of medical technology. And we have a, a visual here of that. Uh, we want to centrally manage medical technology to, and the main goals of that are to unburden the healthcare. So we want to make sure that uh, medical technology is always available for the care professionals without them having any task uh, in them uh, in searching or in managing it. Um, and another important goal of uh, also this medical technology centralized is to, to use it more efficiently. So we want to have more efficient use of medical technology and also the management of medical technology in a more efficient way. And we do this by logistic actions of moving uh, medical technology around. And you see the patient room um, and in the patient room equipment is used and equipment that needs to be used can be uh, can be taken out of the decentralized stocks, which you see on the right side. And this is a, a, a stock, uh, a small warehouse where uh, most of the medical technology equipment is uh, located um, and they can take it and use it and bring it back. And if uh, a stock falls low or uh, we, uh, we of the medical technology department will uh, restock it from our central stock, which is in another uh, building or in another floor of the building. And in this way, we make sure that equipment is always uh, available. And if there's too much in the de decentralized stock, we will also move it out and move it to the central stock. And in another way, it's also possible for the care professional to order equipment. So they can order uh, equipment and then it's brought to the patient room uh, from the central stock. It can be used and will be brought back to the central stock. In this way, they can also uh, use equipment. Um, and another, uh, another uh, big advantage of this is so that we can uh, more efficiently uh, organize the maintenance or, or uh, maintenance of medical technology, because we can swap the equipment quickly from the central stock or decentralized stock, and then do the maintenance uh, at our medical technology department and move it uh, back in the central stock so it will be available again. And for this, we need track and trace to, to, to uh, keep track 
of where the medical technology is located. Um, we organized this by uh, having uh, an RTLS platform installed uh, of Philips, a performance flow. In this case, this is a tool which gives us the, uh, the functionality to visualize location of the tagged equipment. Uh, we have a rules engine which gives us notifications of a uh, stock falling, uh, falling below a certain threshold. And we can use it for workflow support. And there is also the option to analyze data. And by analyzing data, we can have insight in how a process is running and, and optimize it. Um, we made use of our existing Wi-Fi network. And the big advantage of that is that we didn't have to change any uh, infrastructural uh, things. So we could use the existing uh, infrastructure, which has a campus-wide coverage. And furthermore, we integrate it with an asset management system. So we are able to manage the medical technology because in this way, we have the asset management data combined with the location data. Um, we are able to create work orders based on the workflow and thereby supporting the workflow. And we have an inventory management of decentralized and central stock. So uh, in the end results where we have a hospital wide functional RTLS platform uh, so we can locate tagged equipment or tagged mobile assets throughout the hospital anywhere. And um, we have an integration with our asset management system. So we have this, this data of the asset management system as well. And we can combine this and, and with that we have an important tool for the central management of medical technology. And the take home messages are that track and trace is, is a, can be a very useful tool, but it's not a goal. So you should always uh, um, also have a process or organizational change to really reach the goals that you want to do and create the, the, the efficiency that you want. And the other take home message is to think big, but start small. So um, you really, we, we really looked into the hospital wide approach with a future proof system so that we are ready for the future and can implement other use cases or other technologies. Um, and we have a phased implementation. We started out very small uh, with, with just two uh, asset types and we're growing now and we will grow uh, based on uh, topical use cases that are uh, current at that moment. Are there any questions?